Former Ecuadorian President Rafael Correa has been issued an arrest warrant over an alleged involvement in a 2012 attempt to kidnap a political opponent. Well, Correa, who lives in Belgium now, spoke to our correspondent Brian Carter. A court in Ecuador issued an arrest warrant against the former president, Rafael Correa, who led the country from 2007 to 2017. Correa, who is accused of kidnapping a political opponent in 2012, denies all charges. Euronews met up with him in an apartment close to Brussels, where the former head of state now lives with his Belgian wife and children. What does the President of the Republic have to do with this event? At the beginning, I wasn't even accused. It happened in 2012. In 2013, the alleged victim presented a specific accusation and didn't accuse me. But already in November, they realized that with false testimonies, they could point to the President. And they announced from this moment on, you will see Correa will get an arrest warrant from Interpol. And they started this whole thing, which has no legal or logical basis. Rompiendo toda la legalidad, toda la lógica. Last month, Ecuador's attorney general said he had enough evidence to prosecute Correa. This triggered demonstrations in the streets of Quito in support of the former president, who remains popular among some Ecuadorians for the welfare policies he implemented. The judge in this case argues that Correa did not present himself to the court as was asked of him and ordered his arrest. The former president says it was impossible for him to go back to his country and added that the whole case is politically motivated to bar him from playing any role in the future affairs of Ecuador. It hurts me to say this, but Ecuador is seen again as a banana republic. No serious country will take into account an order for detention that is so clearly political, illegal and absurd especially Belgium. But people are very nervous. My friends, my family, our militants, they say there will be a red notice from Interpol. They will capture Correa, extradite him and put him in jail in the Ecuadorian dictatorship. This is not possible. Nothing of this absurdity will happen, especially here in Belgium, where there are a lot of guarantees. We are safe here. Nobody needs to worry about me. We need to worry about the country. The Ecuadorian judge who wants to extradite Correa said Interpol had been informed of the arrest warrant. But the International Police Agency has yet to react officially. And joining us live from Brussels now is a correspondent, Brian Carter. Brian, you met with Correa yesterday, and he claims that the Belgian authorities, they won't take the, the warrant seriously. But uh, what happens next? Good morning, Tessa. I'm standing here in front of the Ecuador consulate in Brussels, where Rafael Correa says he presented himself on Monday to show his will to cooperate with the judicial authorities of Ecuador. It's still uncertain. Uh, how Ecuador will react to this case. They can either seek direct cooperation with Belgium or they can go through Interpol. Now, if they decide to go to Interpol, Interpol will analyze the case based on its own rules and regulations and eventually decide to issue a so-called red notice. Now, a red notice is not an international arrest warrant. It doesn't compel member states to arrest the individual. It merely informs all the, all, it merely informs all the member states of the arrest warrant in the particular country. Now, uh, law experts uh, here in Belgium say that Belgium has a very strong tradition and regulation to protect uh, uh, political uh, dissidents, to protect people that have been politically persecuted. And that's why the lawyer of Mr. Correa and Mr. Correa himself were so confident that this case would not go further and that this is just a political witch hunt. And Mr. Correa even told us during our interview that he saw this as part of a larger crackdown in South America against leftist leaders like himself. So what it is still while it is still uncertain what his legal future will be, uh, his political future in Ecuador seems more uncertain than ever. All right, thanks for that, uh, Brian Carter there in Brussels. Thanks.